Spectrum 1981. This is Never Craft Season 1. This would be Episode 13. So, we're starting off where we left off last time. Here in the new and improved AFK hole. Haven't really done much between last video and this video. Because I'm recording this video right after that one. So, what are we going to do today? So, I have got a pretty cool idea. Well, let's grab some rockets. Uh... Wrong box. Uh, rockets, rockets, rockets. Emerald. Firework. Rockets. All right. Let's grab some rockets. Don't really need that much rockets, but I like having a full stack in my inventory. And so today, we are going to start work on the next project, which is the Coliseum Project. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to head over to just to the outside of the gaming district where this uh, Coliseum is going to go. So we have the gaming district over here. You know, we have Celtic's, you know, freaking roller coaster here that I helped her design. And I'll, I'll showcase that in another video. And then we have the Coliseum area right here. All right, so this is going to be our next project. So, I have this, like, really cool idea for a video for you never craft uh, players there that are watching this. You know, you can use this to start prepping and getting ready for this. So, <clears throat> I'm going to build a Coliseum. And then, sometime here in the future, I don't know when this is going to be, because I don't know how long it's going to take me to build this Coliseum. But, we're going to do some gladiator matches. Yes, you heard me right. We are going to do some gladiator matches. So, few rules on the gladiator matches. You know, um, why, you know, while I talk, I'm going to go ahead and pull out some stuff and prep it. If I can remember where I put that in chest. Over here somewhere, I think. Uh, but, okay, so, <laughs> yeah, there we are. Rules to the gladiator matches. Um, the only armor that is going to be allowed is going to be iron armor but you can enchant the iron armor however you want to enchant that iron armor and then you know swords and shields if they come out in time but you know swords and no bows so where did I put these ah there we are stone bricks Let's grab some stone bricks. So every uh, person on, you know, every all the gladiators, you're gonna get your own little cell to, you know, build your to, you know, make it however you want to make it, and then so on and so forth. So we're gonna start it right over here, and we're going to. Ooh, maybe I should no. I'm not going to do that. All right, we're just going to go with it the way it is right here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is just going to be like the wall here. So, we're going to do the interior. So, we need to go one, two, and then two. I'm trying to remember how this circle goes here. And then two here and then uh, one two three four five six okay and then let's go ahead and do this again on the other side so it's two 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 one so two two and one and then Two. All right, I did two and then I went over. Yeah, two and then I went over. All right. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That looks like a good spot there. So two. Two here, two here, one here, two here, and 
one, two. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not those blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we go one, two, one, two. One, two, one, one, two, and then this line should link up with this line. All right. So this would be the interior right here. Let's uh, let's fly up and take a look at it here. If I can fly, there we go. So that's going to be the just the interior, which isn't too big. But I don't want it too big, you know. I want to be able to see the guys fight and whatnot. So let's take this all down to one level. Uh, so we're going to use, what, level 82, I guess, as our level. Or should we take it down further? Hmm. No, level 82 should be fine. Ugh, I hate coarse dirt for... It's like, why... Why would you do coarse dirt? Okay. And for some reason, pick block is not working. Or maybe I just didn't have regular dirt. One of the two. Right. <clears throat> and of course, cracked stone bricks. Is that all cracked stone brick? Mossy stone brick. Okay. All right. So there we go. So this is our the interior of the Colosseum, which I think is a pretty good size. So we're gonna have on this side. This side is gonna be like an entrance side. So how big do we want this entrance? It's a two wide entrance. So boom. Boom. One, two, three, we'll just do a three high entrance here. Well, four wide or four high really. And we'll make that look a little bit prettier later on uh, once I get into the building aspects of it. And then on this side, we're gonna do about the same thing. We're gonna fill all this in, but we'll do all that in a you know, a little bit of a later time frame here. Like I'll probably do it off camera. One, so that's one, two, three. And boom, all right. So that's the two entrances in. What's the entrance in? It'll be right on that side. So you have the gladiators, you know, they'll enter in from the both sides. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a surprise with this as well. So let's actually take this wall down a little bit to put it on the proper the proper angle here. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so here we go, here we go. Pop that down there, put that there, put that there, okay. And now we can break these blocks here. All right. So, all right, now it's at the proper height. This one is not at the proper height. We'll fix that right now. So I'm gonna add in a special thing for this. I might have to do some, you know, redstone behind the scenes here because you all know I'm, I'm not too good with redstone. But I think this was 20 wide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep, it's 20. So let's go in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And let's go in eight on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, what does that give us? One, two, three, four. We'll just go with a two wide. So we need to go nine in. We'll have to do that on the other side as well. And of course, it starts raining 
and looking all dark on us. You know, hopefully someone will sleep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ask and the God shall provide. I love it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So these right here are going to be basically a surprise for the Primus or the main event. The main event. Yes. Okay. I've been watching you know, a little bit too much Spartacus lately, but, <laughs> so these are going to be involved in the Primus, um, and I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that stuff, but you got to keep it a secret, all right, so never crafters, if you're watching this video, all right, freaking, once we get to talking about this part, which we may not talk about it on this part of the video, but plug your ears, okay, I'll let you guys know when you can unplug your ears, all right, so, we have this part now we have to build the exterior so with this i'm thinking how i want to do stall so we'll just go ahead and we'll prep a stall right here all right so we'll say that's a wall for the thing for the primus right so we don't want to mess with that area right um so i want to put like an armor dispenser stand. So how much room I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I guess that'll have to be it. So we're going to put some stalls in here about yay big for each person. May only do a couple um, now that I think about it. And you know, you, you'll just have to kind of bring your own stuff or whatnot. But we'll do like four gladiator st stalls. And I want the wall, the interior wall, to be three high, is what I'm thinking. Uh, three high wall on here. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to do a cutscene. I'm going to do this three high wall, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the exterior wall as well. And then I'll bring you guys back after that. So I'll see you guys here in a second. For me, it may be a couple hours, but I'll see you guys here in a second. So here we are again, back here on the Nevercraft realm. Uh, it's been a couple days since that last clip that you guys saw. And I've done some work for the Colosseum here. As you guys can see, it's changed just a tad bit from what you guys saw last time. So, now everyone says hindsight is 2020. So, originally I decided to do those uh, different gladiator stalls you know, around here, around the sides. And it just wasn't what I was wanting. So, I did some changes to it. And we did some other work with the Mighty Mirror Hut helping me out with some redstone stuff. Um, so, what we did here is we have the main viewing platform for the you know the guys that are in charge of the gladiatorial matches which i cannot remember their names i'm gonna do some more detail work to this i'm not quite happy with it uh maybe put some logs here to hold it up something like that and there's definitely going to be some logs here on the inside to kind of give some wooden supports to it but it's some texturizing to it adding in some you know uh stone brick stairs some cracked stone brick and some mossy stone brick and i also did the floor here with some sandstone smooth sandstone and some sand itself to kind of give the inside of the arena a good look i also placed up uh some banners you know i put out on the discord hey i need two of everybody's banners and these are the banners that i've received so far you know, we have uh, Blaze Retro, I forget who's that one is, Shadow Wolf, Ultimate AMP, um, I, I think this is Sours, that's Celtic Goddess, Amir Hut, Mine, um, how come I have, okay, and Jan, so this one actually needs to go, because that means I have two of his up here already, so, um, we'll do something with his later, uh, and then, what I, did is I moved the gladiatorial cages down here so you come down the steps here and we 
made some gladiatorial stuff here and I'll put this in here because this is where I put his other banners too uh, yeah for blaze and, you know the, we got shadow right here we have ultimate AMPs you know some of the guys have claimed their spots already you know I just kind of put the banners I had on top of some of these some of these guys have come in and done some work uh, like sour he's done some work to his you know, I did some work to mine too. You know, I did a button because I wanted a button up there. But I have a Spencer system for armor. So you walk in there and you get all your armor. I'm going to put swords and shields once we get shields or tridents in there. You know, to kind of help me out. Armor stand to put my cool armor on. Bed for resetting my spawn. Chest for emptying out my inventory and my ender chest. And I put a crafting bench in here just for, you know, giggles. You know, and then uh, Celtic Goddess uh, doesn't have a presser plate or anything here, but she kind of did the same thing. And the Mighty Mirror Hut, he's done pretty much the same thing as well. You know, putting up, but he put a cauldron in his for some water. You know, stuff like that. So, Never Crafters, if you're watching this video, so this is where your guys' gladiatorial cages are or, you know, housing. So just go ahead and come on down here, you know, pick your spot. If you are, if you, you know, if your banner's already up and you don't like that spot and you want to move your spot, that's fine. Uh, just pick one that hasn't been already taken. There should be enough room here for everybody to have one uh, on the realm. Just go ahead and, you know, pick your spot. Do it however you want to do it. You know, you don't need to do, you know, item or armor equippers or anything like that. Just however you want to design it. Just you know, have some fun with it because this is your spot to do with what you want. So another thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a little, you know, match uh, randomizer to allow us to, you know, find out who does what match and when, you know, order precedence for when we do our gladiatorial matches. Up here, we have two levers. These levers are for the primus or main event. So just watch that right those iron bars right there flip the lever the iron bars open up inside there there'll be some stuff you know for the main event you know and there's one for both sides you know so whoever's in the primus are going to get to have some fun you know because you know why not we we can have some fun with it so that's what we're going to do um, when this gladiatorial match is going to happen, I don't know. I still have a lot of work to do here, you know, so we still need to put the bleachers in. We need to put the out exterior wall. We need to put the, you know, the shade, uh, little fabrics up. All that stuff still needs to be done to finish this out. You know, and I need to cover up these, and we got to trap some mobs in here. You know, have to put an order in to the MRC to get some mobs thrown in here. You know, might have to stick around a few nights and get some mobs in there and give them some armor and whatnot so that they come out fighting. You know, but we'll we'll see how that all works out. Um, but you know, I, I'm I'm actually kind of really proud of myself with the you know the progress so far with only having a few hours here and there to uh, you know set this up and I think all the guys on the realm that have been given a hand with this you know we got blaze retro sour patch you know the mighty mirror hut Celtic goddess you know all the guys here you know that have been given a hand over here getting all this set up you know helping me with redstone or materials you know things like that you know getting banners together I'm, I'm really happy. I, I thank you, all of you guys that are on the Nevercraft realm, to, you know, giving me a hand with all this stuff. So, but, that's what we got right now. So, you know, you know, over here in the gaming district, ooh, something new is popping up here. I don't know what this is yet. Oh, tic-tac-toe, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's tic-tac-toe. I uh, need a few more banners there to make it a really good tic-tac-toe but you know someone's put a tic-tac-toe celtic goddess has put in a roller coaster so we just got a couple more minutes here so let's 
let's ride the roller coaster to end out the video here. So let's grab a mine cart here. Get rid put the shovel right there. Uh, turn this off so it doesn't run off without me. And off the roller coaster we go. Nice big hill going up. I like the detail with the uh, trap doors and all that. And we fall. Oh, and we go down. And the redstone lights. It's looking good. You now going down into the pit of darkness. And we're going all the way down to bedrock. It looks like. Yep. Up oh, some redstone failures right there. All right. Back up to the sky. It looks like. Let's see where we're going. Oh, and we fall again. Oh, that's pretty good. I like it. I like the jumps up oh, and we're falling again and we catch dude this would be like really scary as a as a real <laughs> a real thing here got some missing trap doors there might have to fix that at some point there Celtic uh, we're going up nice view of the gaming district here going through this all right where are we going now oh we got another jump coming up here going up going up Flatten out, going up, going up, and we fall. Oh, I love the jumps. Oh, lag spike. And here we go. We're going up, and we're going to fall again. Straight into the water. Oh, I like it. I like all the glass so you can see what's going on up underneath the water here. And up we go. And we end. Yeah, I put my banner here because I helped her out. You know, but this is Celtic's project. Uh, she did a really good job with it. You know, I love all the detail work here with doing the oak and then the trap doors, putting in the supports, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure if she needs that redstone torch there, but, you know, it all it's looking really good, really fun, something little neat not really a game but something to have some fun with you know let's fly around let's see if we got anything else in the gaming district that's popped up here while well, we, we got about a minute or so left for the video uh yeah my little practice shooting range here oh yeah i don't think i've shown you guys this on video but we have a shooting range here done by the mighty mirror hut you know press the lever and the stuff goes back and forth and you get to shoot at them which i'm not going to do on video really ain't got the time and that looks like all in the gaming district, the shopping district, of course, always constantly growing, constantly adding in new stuff. Um, got a few new shops that popped up here and a few more things that have been updated. Like I have updated the uh, the nether shop here. Uh, oh, Jan Ski Adams here built this and I was starting to feel a little a little underwhelmed with my builds here you know i mean that dragon or the dragon's den freaking shop it's you know awesome very awesome you know and then the mrc is really good and the trading post is really good which i've done some renovations on that but you know this shop here and the end shop in the background were kind of a little you know weak in building style so i've done some updates to them so I updated them, or I updated the, the nether shop just the other day. Kind of made it look like more of a little nether fortress and done some landscaping around it. Add some fire and some nether wart, you know, stuff like that to kind of give it a little bit better of a vibe. And I'm loving this front. The front just looks beautiful. And then we have our Lord and Savior, the Blaze, up there on top, which he's got a remodel too. Made him look a little bit more Blaze-like. And then the interior here also did some updating to make it look a lot better. You know, selling, you know, our nether wart, our glowstone. This was quartz, but every time I fill it up, it gets bought out in our blaze rods as always. So, <clears throat> that's all I have time for today, guys. So, if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, just go ahead and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. So just smash that like button, guys. Smash it, smash it, smash it. 
share it with your friends, you know, everything like that. And I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.